Hello everyone. I made these mascarpone cream with salted caramel on puff pastry for a lady's Christmas party. And I made this the same day as my crispy carnitas bites appetizer. So I hope you enjoy this. If you need to make a dessert for some kind of event, you can't go wrong with this one. I'm gonna make puff pastry shells with mascarpone cheese and some salted caramel over the top. So let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I sprayed a large muffin tin. These are the bigger size. You could use regular size. You need smaller pieces. So I've sprayed that with cooking spray. Now, I've got my puff pastry sheets and they come like this, folded up. You need to let them thaw for about 40 minutes out of the package. And all I'm going to do, I rolled it out slightly just to, first of all, even out the seams, but also just slightly make it bigger. And all I'm going to do is a pizza cutter, and I don't care if they're exact because you're not going to be able to tell. So, I'm going to take these now and just lay them and I don't know if you can see that far away. Let me try and bring this over and I'm going to lay it in the muffin tin cups and I'm going to poke a couple holes in the bottom and then we're going to lightly brush it with egg that's been beaten. These don't have to be perfect because remember they're going to puff up after while they're baking. So we're just going to do this and I'm going to do that for all 12 and then we're going to bake it. So let me get these done and I will show you what comes next. And this is the kind of thing I learned when I worked at the bakery years ago. Take some simple, simple ingredients. In this case, puff pastry shell. That part's already made. But it's how you put it together. So let me get these done and I'll bring you back to show you when I bake them. All right, I've got these all prepared. I'm gonna put these in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. They're gonna puff up, but that's okay. So let me do that and I will show you when it, they come out. All right, these are out of the oven. They're just light golden brown. These took a little bit longer than the directions said because I made bigger ones. So it took about 13 minutes for these. And then you just, once you get them out of the oven, you just press in the center because you want to make a nice deep well for all that good mascarpone cheese. Because that's going to be really good. It's a sweet mascarpone filling. So now I'm going to let these sit and cool slightly. Then I'll take them out of the pan and let them cool some more. And then we'll fill them. All right, time to make the mascarpone cheese cream filling. So I've got a container. This is an eight ounce container and the recipe calls for one cup. So we're just gonna put that in the mixer. And this is at room temperature. I've had this sitting out for, oh, at least a couple hours. nice and soft. And then I'm going to add half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Whatever they're calling it in your section. Here it says, yeah, it's called heavy whipping cream, but it could be heavy cream, whatever that is. You need half a cup. You need a pinch of kosher salt 
and a third of a cup of, but first I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up a little. Uh, we're gonna add a third of a cup of powdered sugar. those together, make sure that the mascarpone is broken up. Okay. Now just going to mix in, oh, about half of that powdered sugar. Again, one third cup. And then put in the rest of it. And we're going to beat this until medium peaks form. We don't need it really firm peaks. I'm not sure it would. Um, but we want medium peaks. And I'm not sure if you can see it. It's holding its shape. It's almost there. We're going to let it go for just a, maybe another minute. Scrape this down and look at it. Yeah, I think that that's good. So now we're going to assemble our cream puff shells. All right, time to put these heavenly little bites together. So I have my mascarpone cream that I've prepared, and I'm just going to take a dollop. and put some in the center of each. And normally at these parties, we have so much food and you fill up. You want something sweet, but you don't want something heavy. So I figured these are perfect because they're light, they have a lot of flavor, but they're not going to be too heavy and just what we're looking for. couple here that are a little bit light. I'll fill them up. And I wish you could taste this cream. It has, it is so good. It's so much better than just whipped cream would be, which is what a lot of people would put in these or Bavarian cream, but this mascarpone is wonderful. Now, I didn't have time to make my own salted caramel sauce, so I'm just going to use the store-bought. If it would start dripping. Whoa, that's a lot. 
Well, some will have more and some will have less. And it's all good. Yeah, I should have heated this slightly, but that's okay. There's always a way to do it. I don't want anything hot though going on these on this mascarpone cream because we don't want it melting. So I'm going to get all of these finished and to garnish them, I found these salted caramel crunch in the baking section, and I thought that would be perfect. So just a little bit more of that salted caramel taste, and just a little bit on the top of each. And you have a bakery style dessert very simple to make, fairly inexpensive. I know from working in the bakery, if you were to buy something like this, they would not be inexpensive. You would pay per each. So this is something that is just beautiful. It's impressive. And boy, is it going to taste so good. So thanks for watching. I have to tell you, that these were such a big hit that the six ladies at this party ate all 12 of these in nothing flat. They were so good, and I've been requested to bring them to the next party. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again soon.